Hello guys, HG Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your phone look like Android L. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. So the first thing we will need is the status bar. So you will see I am using a Galaxy status bar, but I'm going to show you guys how to get the L status bar on 5.0, which I am not using 5.0, I'll show you guys right now what version I am using. I am using Android 4.4.4, as you can see right there. So I'm not using 5.0, just the... Uh, so let's go ahead and go ahead and download this. So there is a, a pro version and there is a free version. The free version does not have all like a status bar like this. You can't download the free version as an APK on the internet, but it is your choice. That's what I did. I did not buy it. But let's go ahead and go to the Play Store. Type in material status bar. And then eventually it should pop up. And it should say Material Status Bar Lollipop or Material Status Bar Pro. I actually have the Pro version. I don't remember in, in buying it. That's the problem. But you can go ahead and install this or you can install this. It's your choice. As you can see, there's a status bar I'm using right there, which is the Galaxy S5 status bar. It also has a Galaxy S6 or S7 status bar, which is the white one. But we're going to go ahead and open, or I cannot install this, I'm going to open up the other one. And it should look like this. So make sure this is set on. And it should tell you uh, to change your accessibility options. So I'm not going to show you that because I kind of forgot what that is, but it should tell you that ahead of time when activating that. So let's go ahead and check this theme. I paid for a uh, gradient because as you see, Lollipop actually has a little, it is an exact color with it if you can see in the camera. So I usually select gradient. Now for a transparent status bar, make sure you select your launcher. I have the Motorola launcher or you can use the Nova launcher. I'm gonna select Nova launcher because that's the launcher I am using. So make sure you select method one for transparent. And then we can go ahead and go back. Now I will show you guys that it's not entirely transparent. Like if you will see, if I would use a different one, it would kind of be a little off and more brighter. So if anything, use a uh, one like this right here, because you can see possibly in the corner right there, it is a little off from this little brown wedge right here. So let's go ahead and back open that up. Now, we will go ahead and go to customize. Now this is where you can have the show battery percent. This is on some uh, Android L devices, not all. So it is optional if you don't want it there. But I usually set it there to know how much percent I have in my battery. You can do a uh, 12 hour format if you choose to. You can, you also would probably want to do automatically, automatically, re automatically start up when you reboot your device. So, you won't have to keep activating it every time you start up your device. Oops, I didn't realize that would have made me go back. And then that's about it for the customized section. So for notification panel, this is where the, your look of this is going to come in. So I have it to the T. I don't know what that stands for, but the L is Android L. So all you have to do to activate it again is just uncheck that and uncheck, uncheck it again. And then it should look like this. I don't always prefer this one, but you can do whatever you want. And then if you want to make it fully show, just go down like that with your hand on the screen. You can do colorized panel if you want to. I usually keep that off. And then the rest is just your choice. It doesn't really matter what you want for this one, but it is your choice and how you want to uh, place it out in the heads up and the uh, backup and restore. You can use backup and restore if you want to save your color codes, which is uh, right over here. Actually, actually, that's not it. 
uh, I think it was the somewhere around here I think it was color pick uh, picker but anyway that's about it for the material status bar which I just opened up that again the next thing we will be doing is the lock screen as you can see right here so this lock screen is Android L as you see you got the phone right here and then you have your camera which all you have to do is just slide and then it opens up so to get this all you have to do is go to the play store and then type in Android L black screen I know I spelled that wrong but it's going to bring it anyway I think yes it did so it is going to be called L lock screen as you can see right there go ahead and click on it then go ahead and install it. it's not that big and then click open make sure the L lock screen is active it will be unchecked and then go to active notification access make sure this is uh, selected and make sure material status bar pro is selected as well if you did not do that already and then I will warn you that a bunch of ads will pop up eventually so be aware of that so the next thing we will do is select our background I usually select the system you can select with a default by default it's going to be uh, the default image that they give you or you can select a, gal a gallery image it's your choice next thing we do is security we can set the pin code or pattern I usually set the no security I just usually select mine to 12 a uh, 12 hour am slash pm or you can select 12 hour I do show battery level which an active notific notification bar and the battery level is try to get sometimes it pops up a notification bar custom one sometimes it does see if we can try to make it pop up again I don't think you have to be in an app when this happens sometimes it does that's probably just a bug but you can do uh, active notification bar and show battery level you can also uncheck these I recommend unchecking those in case uh, when you lock it if you're in school playing on it it might make a sound so you probably don't want that on you can not select vibrate if you want to it's not gonna make much noise so it doesn't really matter it's your choice I usually uh, select uncheck keep alive so it eventually goes to sleep and does not waste your battery if you forget to turn it off and then you can mess with this if you want to this is basically the unlock selection but I'm not gonna go too much in depth with that one because that's pretty straight up and then this should be it it should be 100% active now you will see there is a slight delay so it won't really matter if someone goes on your phone because either way if you have a password or anything it's always going to lock after a few seconds so you really can't control that the next thing we will be doing is the Android L keyboard so I will show you guys what that looks like I'll go ahead and open up my Play Store again and I will and this is what it looks like so this one is the it's basically the Google keyboard so you can do the do this you can randomly type and just said give th so it is called the Google keyboard I actually had the standard KitKat keyboard on my device and then for some reason I got it randomly made this one my default one and I cannot uninstall it at all so randomly I just got this keyboard for my default one I don't even have my KitKat one so even if I wanted it back I could not get it back so this is the Google keyboard I'm pretty sure this is what it is, yeah. And as you see, it says I can't uninstall it, but I don't, when I'm trying to go open the app, I can't un really uninstall it or open it in my applications. So go ahead and install it. And then it should be pretty straightforward. You have to go to your keyboard settings. Go ahead and find my settings. It should be somewhere. 
don't see them. And then they should be somewhere around these lines. And then you will click language and input then default. And that's my Google keyboard. As you see, I can't really change it back to the KitKat one at all, which is kind of interesting. So I can't really do much about that. So if I were to uninstall it, I probably would have been screwed and I won't have a keyboard at all, but I don't know. So make sure you select by default your Google keyboard, not your KitKat keyboard or whatever uh, version of Android you have. Alright, so the next thing we will be doing is the Nova Launcher. So you can get that at the Play Store. I have the Nova Launcher, the regular version. I'll just type in Nova, just for short. And there is a Prime version as well if you want to get it. I prefer the Nova Launcher, it's not too much in the Nova Prime. So I don't know why it's costed like 5 bucks, that's kind of a little overpriced. I would be okay with at least 2 to $1, but it's their choice of how much they want it to be. So it is highly customizable as you see and it does have pretty good performance. So go ahead and install it, it's like about 50 to 60 megabytes I think. Let's go ahead and check. Uh, I don't see it anywhere, but anyway. Um, make sure you go ahead and open it up. Mine's already open, so I don't really have to do much. To access your settings in the Nova Launcher, go ahead and uh, long tap onto your into an open place on your uh, home screen, and then click Settings, which is right there. Then you will go to Look and Feel. Oops, Icon Theme. So you can download uh, more icon packs. It depends on what you want. You can download. Uh, the Nougat packs, which is Android 7.0, which just came out, which is pretty cool. It's not on, mo it's not on mo much devices, though. You can select 6.0 as well, which it comes with it already. Or you can download a 5.0 pack, but 6.0 looks rather similar. So select 6.0. You can select normalize icon signs if you want to. I think that was checked by default, default so I usually keep it to that. I always keep show notification bar and transparent notification bar. And then you can mess with the animation speed and then scroll speed. And I, uh, you want to customize app uh, animation and select it to slide up, which will do something like this. We will go to app widget and drawers. Scroll down until you find the transparency. Make sure that's a hundred percent, and then that will be about it for. It. And don't forget the transition. I want that to slide up as well because that is what Android 5.0 and 6.0 and 7.0 has. And then that will be it for customization. You can mess with about other stuff. You can mess with the icons. You can mess with the page indicator color. You can mess with a lot of other things, but I'm not going to go over that because that's not really a big thing in Android 5.0. And then you will want to have a widget right here, which is your clock widget. So to access widgets, all you got to hold tap on the home page and then click widgets, which should be in the middle. Scroll down and then you will see Amber Weather right here. I think I got this off the internet. I downloaded this a while ago. You, I'll go ahead and check if it's in the Play Store. Oops, I don't want to type in Play Store. Uh, Amber Widget. I spelled that so wrong, but uh, it's kind of hard to type because I'm behind a camera. And you will see it's right here. Now I did get a theme for this, I'm not sure what the theme was, but it should give you a full list of a bunch of themes to find. So I don't entirely know where everything is. I haven't used this in a while, but uh, it's not gonna rate it right now. But I have no clue where uh, where I got the theme from. You're going to have to mess with that for yourself or go on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure where it's at. 
And then next thing we'll have to do is make sure you get Android 5.0 or 6.0 looks or backgrounds. So you can go online or go to the Play Store. Uh, where's the Play Store? There it is. Now this is the one I'm using right now is kind of a 5.0. I don't think it's entirely part of it, but I went to Wallpapers and I think the Nova Launcher gave me this one. So you guys can go ahead and download some either on the internet or you can use the Nova Launcher ones that they give you. Now the last thing that we will be doing is the phone app. So you will see my phone app is right here. This is what it should look like. It is called X Launch or X Dialer, not Launcher. It is free on the Play Store. You, it might cost money for the Pro version. I think there is Pro version. I'm not entirely sure. So I'll type in X. I'll try to link these all in the description below for you guys to go ahead and get easily. But most of you guys are gonna be on your phone, so either way, probably wouldn't make any sense to do that. This is what it looks like. There is a Pro one if you want to have it. But all you have to do is download it, then open it up. It will not look like this for you when you open it up. So if you want to uh, mess with this or mess with the settings, just go ahead and put your finger down like that. And should if you want to show the dial pad again, just click that show dial pad button. So right here, you will see the little button right here. Click that. Click preferences. Now you will see the theme right here. I have the droid light theme. I found that on uh, the Play Store. I cannot entirely find that again, but what I did was I clicked get more themes. And I kept scrolling down till I, found, till I actually found it. Now I'm not sure where I found it at. I just kept scrolling down for a while until I actually found something that was appealing to me. And here we go, we got the dialer theme, Al White. So go ahead and download this. This is a really cool theme. And then you can mess with the other settings if you want to. You can mess with the appearance, UI language if you speak a different language and want it. It supports about all languages. And then it says the try will expire in five days. I don't know if that means you won't be able to use it in five days or it'll start popping up ads. I don't entirely know what that means, so I guess I'll find out in five days and possibly tell you guys in the video description. So this is about it for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video.